previously on Building Force World. Well, let's fill up the center of that, I suppose. And if my calculations are correct, there you go. And then just the same way I did earlier, I can copy this to the next one. Oh, and we can even add some of these guys. I did not just put in this much effort. Oh, yes. Yes. <gasps> oh, that is clean. <laughs> And gentlemen, welcome back to this second episode of Building Force World. Today, we are going to be finishing the entrance, or at least I hope. The idea is to add these kind of croissant looking buildings on top here, right on the left. That's the right. <laughs> and on the left right there. If you haven't seen the first episode yet, I highly recommend you check that out first. But then now, let's get into it. Now, the first step today I want to do is add a monorail because this park, unlike Benny's Movie Park, will actually have one. Now, I don't know what the track's going to be. I don't have any of the landscape yet. But what I do know is that it has to go straight over this bit right here. So let me just at least build that piece of the track just like so. And we can kind of build around that. That's kind of the whole point of this. Now, just to see real quick what that will look like. Don't mind that. <laughs> that bit right there. But as you can see, that goes nicely just over there. And for now, we don't don't need any of this stuff right here. You really just need this straight part. There you go. So well then now let's begin the actual building. After of course putting on the correct hoodie. Um, you can get this by the way for only 16 robux. It's completely yours so be sure to check the link down below in the description. Let's begin right here with a relatively simple building. A nice cylindrical um, tower kind of thing. And the texture is actually gonna be a bit of a thing because concrete is just too concrete-ish but metal is just way too smooth. Like, that is not realistic at all. It's gonna be a bit of a stinker, this one. I do think concrete is the least sh so, so let's just go with that. Besides, we can always just kind of paint it later. As reference, I'm using just some random pictures and screenshots from Coruscant. This is mainly using just a lot of cylinders, though, I feel like. That and a bunch of rotated elements like this with a nice cylinder on top. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty smooth. And at the very top, some of these uh, very tiny, slim antennas. Extra details on the side to make it as accurate as possible. And then we do one, two, and three. And then that is a pretty lovely building. Still really don't know about the texture though. It's uh, it's a bit too rough, but the alternative is way too smooth. I guess we'll just make some more buildings and see what that looks like. Let's make a square building right now. I really like the way this one looks, so let's try and recreate that. And I think if once again we just make a single segment, we can just copy that over to the top to make a complete massive looking tower. Here you go. Let's see if that works just like that i mean the, yeah that is pretty cool i guess and then here at the top we're gonna have to recreate that fancy looking section <laughs> i know i keep saying this in basically every episode but the copy and paste tool dude it is something else <laughs> simply makes my heart melt and on the top there is this section with the windows which i think is the best looking part of the whole building so we definitely have to make sure to nail that and i think using this one we can get that really nice arch kind of shape in there here you go just like that and then using actual glass panels like oh this is working out so well dude i did not see this happening what the heck then one last time we copy that top section just to the other side and there you go that is quite a cool looking building as well now just like this, I'll build a bunch more buildings, which are going to be relatively similar, I suppose. I'm not going to show all that. It seems pretty boring. I'm going to get to work and I'll be right back with you. I have been building for quite a while and it is looking pretty cool. I just did the front of this side, basically, and it looks quite interesting. I tried putting in as much detail as I can without, you know, overdoing it. I do want to have some file space left to actually, you know, build rides. But I do think particularly these buildings look really nice and detailed. So um, yeah, all of this I'm going to have to do. This has taken me three hours, by the way, about three hours. So uh, as you can see, I did build some of them here, which I can then just copy and paste over, which did save a bunch of time. But um, yeah, I'm basically going to have to do this again on the other side. A bit different, of course, but kind of the same thing. And also the back here has to kind of a little bit sort of be filled with at least something because I don't know what the landscape here is going to look like just yet. To be fair, this is starting to look a lot like Kevin's version of the park, which I mean, is kind of cool, actually. I quite like it. So, um, well, let's continue. Eventually. 
Well, I'm back and um, we've done <laughs> quite some stuff. I just built this entire thing and also some stuff on the back here, all of that. I did pause for a bit, however, because I just realized we obviously need a station for the actual monorail right about here somewhere. So I put an opening here, which can lead you to some sort of staircase or a lift or anything that can bring you to a station right about here, I suppose, because in the original one, number 10 is also a monorail station, it seems. I am now realizing, though, that I probably should have made it go through this entrance instead of over it. It just seemed a bit sad that you can't see it from outside and you can't really see anything from the outside if you're inside. So, uh, but I guess, you know, Let's just go for it anyway. Okay, guys, never mind. We have several problems. The first one, there's too many items. The second one, the train's not gonna fit through this. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I guess we're gonna have to go with the first idea again. Well then, I suppose right here, there's gonna be a station. It's a bit of a strange spot, but I think we can cover it up quite nicely because right here next to it is probably gonna be a mountain from the Tatooine area. So honestly, that's just a problem for later. It is the most annoying thing ever that you can't put these off grid. Like that is... <laughs> Very annoying, because now there is this weird turn here. But I guess we'll just have to work around it. Let's kind of make a basic platform for the uh, station. It's going to be a one-sided one, so you get out and go in in the same uh, spot, kind of. So that being there, we also need a way up there, of course, which I guess a staircase is just the most obvious. And because there's going to be so many tall buildings, this has to be a spiral staircase. Otherwise, it simply will not fit. The appropriate way to use spiral staircases, unlike Benny's Movie Part 2. So essentially, just like this up and there you go not only does it make more sense it also looks a trazillion times nicer and of course not to forget a trazillion times faster too there you go so now you can go all the way up here to the station and you guessed right we're gonna build a tower around this which is gonna look i mean kind of similar to every other one we see right here it's just gonna be round and um you know Let's get to it. It is pretty simple. We just grab a wall like this and copy it over the same axes as the staircase, creating a really nice looking tube. Copy and paste it. Boom. And from below, this of course needs to look real nice and cleaned up. So let's just close up the entire ceiling. Okay. As you can see, I kind of made sure that this is all looking nice. It's of course very basic. I'm going to spice this up later, but first I want to make sure all of these buildings around it, along with the top of this one, um, it's finished. It's the same stuff once again, so I'll see you in just a little bit. Now, while I take a sip of this lovely lemonade, consider using my star code Benji. If you're buying Robux for, say, a game pass in Theme Park Tycoon 2, you can now use my code Benji so I get an extra commission from Roblox at no extra cost to you, so you can easily support this channel. I'd much appreciate it, but now let's take a look at the stuff I built. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I am beyond stoked for this. Just look at that. It, it's glorious. This turned out so much better than I thought it would. Here, there is the little station. It's really quite simple still, but then again, I don't know uh, the, the mount. I have no idea what the mountain is going to look like. So until then, I'll just keep it simple to make sure I don't put too much effort in something that's going to be deleted anyway. I also built this building, which I had to simplify a lot because the uh, local item limit simply did not allow for my amount of detail, which is <laughs> very, very sad. But still, I do think it looks pretty sick. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got so far. Let's see what else we can do to kind of finalize this entrance for today. First of all, in here, there's a very big open space that's not really being used. So let's add some toilets, make like a few very simple stalls like this. And since these are going to be toilets, let's just make them white because for some reason they always kind of are. I'm going to make little sinks as well, because otherwise we need to build those outside and that won't look very nice. This is so unnecessary, dude. What am I doing? And some very ugly looking toilet seats as well. There you go. Then we'll put some doors in there, which we can kind of open up a little bit like this. So I didn't just make all of that for absolutely nothing. I can't believe I just made that. <laughs> I do want to have some more lights in here just so it's not too dark. Then I think that is pretty much it. That looks, uh, it's a bit empty. It's a bit, you know, some might say boring, but uh, it's simplistic. We're going to make some signs in just a second for the toilet, most of all. Um, now, first, there is one final thing missing, and that is, of course, the fountain right here. Now, I won't lie. I kind of like how clean it is, so I don't think I'm going to make this too insane. It's just going to be a very nice and stylized golden, because I love the gold, fountain. So, well, let's 
let's get to it. To make the circle as round and perfect as possible, I'm going to use very tiny pieces like this. As you can see, that makes it super smooth. Just like that. Very satisfying. <laughs> Maybe this outer edge, however, should actually be the same concrete color as the buildings. Now, we do have one problem, the water, because technically we can't put actual water in here. Uh, so we're going to have to improvise a little bit. I mean, the bottom we can definitely just make like pebble or something. But then the water. If only we had just a glass texture, kind of like these windows where I can just choose the transparency. That would have been amazing. And we could try using actual glass, but I don't think... We can try, we can try. Say we were to make that blue like this. It's kind of weird how the glass has such an intense shadow. Wait a second, there's triangles too. But that means it's pretty easy actually. Just like so. And the last one, here you go. Dude, I mean, it's not moving, but I'd say that is pretty good. Given the circumstances, there's even reflections. Look at that. And of course, we need the circle in the middle like so. And then now the statue. Obviously, I just can't make that. That is, I mean, it's awesome, but that is, I don't think that's possible. I could make actual statues, but those won't be golden. I did not think about that. I mean, I guess I could do something like this. But, uh, oh, that, <laughs> that's an interesting looking Vader. It's the best I could find, okay? I mean, I guess it looks a bit weird. What if we just make this a whole lot smaller? If this is golden, maybe that's a bit better. I don't know about this. Let's first add some fountain with a show uh, to make this look a bit nicer, hopefully. I've actually never really made a fountain show before, so this is definitely a new thing for me as well. So let's put the first one down, I suppose. And then after we're done, we can just move the whole thing into the actual fountain. I'm thinking we're just gonna do a lot, like this much. It's going to be quite difficult to make something nice, but I guess let's see. Are we going to put the sequencer to access it easily? I'll just shove it in right here. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so let's add the first fountain thingy right here. We'll put that right into the sequencer, and this is where we actually begin uh, making something nice. I have really small gaps in between all of these fountains so that hopefully it makes a pretty nice effect. Let's see. There you go, that's quite nice. However, that alone is, of course, a bit boring. Dude, look at that. Go higher up, higher up, bam! That's pretty cool. Well, basically, just like this, I'm just gonna have to make an entire sequence, and um, once I'm done, I'll show you. Because I hardly think it's interesting to watch me click buttons for like 10 minutes. I regret even starting this. I'm just realizing I don't think it copies that. I can copy these, but it's not gonna copy the... This may just be one of the single dumbest things I have done in quite a while. I just spent 30 minutes. One eternity later. Well, guys, I've made a new one uh, and it is pretty nice. As you can see, it does a nice circle thingy. It's about 40 seconds long, so it's pretty lengthy. I especially like this, by the way, where it just kind of slowly goes up. Pretty nice. I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but just uh, for an idea. It does some of this weird stuff too. Just some random spurts. And finally, a giant splash in the sky that slowly goes back to zero. That's actually pretty much it. See, and then it starts over again. I quite like it. I quite like it. Um, it took way longer than it should have. But you know what? It was my own stupidity. So it's fine. I think now it's a good time to add some staff members. So let's go ahead and create some different ones. Here you go. This is the first one. Messy hair. Gotta love that. Let's put this guy behind the counter right here. Oh, that's actually nice. Instantly adds some life too. Then right here, we've got this dude, which for some reason the hair isn't loading, but I guess he can be bald too. Bald is fine. Probably one of those newer items. Then here we have this lovely woman. And well, that's the stalls, it seems. Oh, no, wait, there's another one right here. There you go. Then we also need some people in here. Here you go. Pretty cool. Look how happy this dude is. He doesn't get paid enough. And finally, another girl in there. Lovely. Then let's see, do we need any more? I don't think so. We do need some simple signs for the toilets, however, and some stuff for the monorail. First of all, right here, it needs to say monorail entrance, but then also up here, I want to put some signs on these elements to say uh, that this is Coruscant. So I guess let's open up Photoshop and get started. Powering up Photoshop. For the monorail sign, let's just use the same thing as the entrance. For the horizontal bit, at least, I'm going to make a nice logo for it, too. And then the same thing once again, right next to it in Orbesh. And then for the toilets, let's just use the standard default toilets. Put that in the corner right here. Now, I have a pretty wild idea for the actual sign for the monorail. Um, what if we try making it a hologram. Hear me out, I do actually have an idea as to how I'm gonna do this. And I'll show you in just a second. I definitely wanna have 
this logo in there the republic symbol and let's have this say intergalactic monorail because that's what kevin called it and i think it's a perfect name and we got out an extra stroke and as you can see that is actually not even so bad and my idea was to add some light rays down below just like this one which of course will make blue the same color as the logo kind of fade out the edges and then i think this might work there is only one way to find out though so let's try it out i'm gonna put an image panel right here i'll enable transparency and put in the decal we just made here it is and as you can see there you have it and then to spice that up i'm gonna use a light like this one just right below it right there which i suppose we can also make blue a bit brighter and as you can see that kind of does it not entirely what i meant but i guess it works then right in front here you have the regular monorail thing i also made one for right here by the way since this is the exit of the park then we have all the toilet signs right here this also seemed like a pretty fun idea i'll put a tiny little sign also saying these are toilets those we can just kind of universally use throughout the entire park i do think we should move it a bit over here so it's more obvious that this in fact is the toilet stall as well well that is quite lovely then i think for today we have made <laughs> i mean <laughs> Is this the most progress I've ever done? I think so. This would have taken forever, and I mean like weeks, if we didn't have the copy and paste tool. For that, I'm eternally grateful. It's truly uh, a big help. But uh, yeah, I think then that's it. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out to Kevin Lynch. He, of course, is the creator of the original idea. Um, I, I'm so stoked. I am so stoked. I feel like each episode is just gonna get progressively more insane, isn't it? Like, what comes after this even? I don't even know. I don't know, it all goes so fast. <laughs> anyway, you know the drill. If you have ideas, let me know down below in the comments. But then, uh, uh, that's it, guys. That's it for today. If you like this video, make very sure to leave a like. Subscribe, hit the bell not to miss a single video. And then I hope I'll see you in the next episode of Building Force World.